I don't remember the other guys getting some insects to attack them when they found their sleeping woman. I don't know what's up with this. That's just silly. Alright, this is a tutorial uh, mission. So this is right before the battle. Uh, you can actually place your guys. See, I just inverted their placement. This is Goldilocks and this is Smiley's, obviously. Yeah, I need to be able to call them something. I can't just say this guy and that guy and this guy and that guy. I need to give them names. Obviously, I could probably look up a guide or something. I know on, on the Wikipedia they have the names of every character, but I don't I don't know that they put them in any particular order, so I'm not entirely certain which name refers to which character. And then I did look up on Game Facts to see if there was a guide, and there was one in Spanish, so um screw that. <laughs> so yeah, this is um here you can just check your force, which is of two only, and you can see their stats at the bottom. And at the top you have options, I don't know what this does, because I can't select it. With it, you can look at his um, inventory, you cannot, apparently you cannot touch his weapon. But his armor, sure, fine, doesn't matter. And, uh, oh, I could have checked um, uh, Goldilocks as well from here. They both have the same armor that I can tell. Because it's exactly the same character as the whole way through, so... About the same armor, I wouldn't tell you what it is, though. The weapon's different, obviously, so... One's using a, a spare and the other a weapon, and I just selected the armor, I don't want to do that. So, main character, Smiley's, is a uh, fire elemental, and he's thunder. I imagine it's going to be important sometime. Uh, whoops. That was battle start. I did not mean to do that just yet, but whatever. Tutorial time! You can move. In a giant circle. Oh, you can see the movement bar over there. And this is the enter button that they're flashing. I'm gonna get all over this in a second. So yeah, you can see the movement. You have... Uh, you can move in a giant circle. And that's that. Um, these don't count really as obstacles. You can't stop on them, but they don't uh, interfere with your movement. I don't believe so. Uh, like, see, I, I can move the full movement to the left if I just walk around him here. He's not... The, the movement bar is not getting hung on him, just... Wait, no, you can't go this far because he's in the way, you know? He doesn't really get in the way th uh, in that sense. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna move over here. Menu. A and B up at the top right are kind of inverted with A and B here. I may get it confused one time or the other, so whatever. Uh, this is use item. We have two items, and if you look at the bottom, it says HP at one place and 100 at another. So I imagine it restores 100 HP. Wouldn't say. Uh, this is the item. This is the information screen that we were looking at earlier. Uh, we have the first option. Um, We have the um, the first option open this time, and we can actually look at the weapons. It doesn't really tell me much of anything. The weapons actually give agility, which is interesting, and attack, obviously. He gets more attack out of his weapon. It's only rank 1, though, but whatever. First, second, third, I have no idea what that is. Don't ask me. Okay, so that's for that. Um, there are other places of this menu. This is what I want to show you as well. So these are the different kinds of attacks I can use. Uh, the couple at the bottom are the same, and same for the, the first couple, but one's level 1, the other is level 2. Uh, at the top are the uh, physical attacks, the normal elemental, and then the rest is fire. I'll explain what all that is about later. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And turn is here, like the game was mentioning. This guy has more movement than you. Doesn't matter much. Um, just go somewhere. Oh, they have shared inventory as far as I can tell. 
as far as I can tell, is not very far, but, you know, whatever. Tutorial 2! I think. You can attack, don't go attack there, that's stupid. Stupid unit placement. Yeah, the, the red circle is how far you can attack, your, ra your reach, you know? This is the attack button they're flashing. I'll explain the screen on the right. Okay, put yourself here. That way you're out of range of... Um, free is here. You're out of range of this idea. Look. You can't see all that. Well, you can see his stats down below. They're dark elemental. They have these stats. Note that his defense and magic resistance, MGR, I'm guessing is for magic resistance. His defense and magic resistance are the same. So it really doesn't matter if you use an elemental or non-elemental attack, apparently. Um, yeah, so you can see his range there. So if you go to the right of this guy... Um, cancel, there you go. If you go to the right of this guy, that far left one is not going to be able to attack. Menu. Attack. The other button... Hold on a second. The other button here is for a double attack with Goldilocks over there. I'm not going to do that because I haven't really figured out how that actually helps me in any kind of way. It looks cool, but it doesn't do much of anything. Um, what's two, though? Who's two? Is it this one? No, okay, this is four. Okay, I was, I was going to be a little worried. Because there's a reason why I'm going there. So... These. These are the four attacks we had that I was showing you. They're each associated with one button, and you can see approximately what the damage they're gonna do. FC is the cost in, um... You see under top left, there's my face, part of it anyways, and then there's the HP bar, which is 120, and then there's the FC. Oh, you can see at the bottom. Yeah, there's the FC bar, the blue bar, which is at 60 right now. You get 30 each beginning of turn, apparently. At least up to now, you have been. So, um, yeah, so doing one uh, A attack is going to cost 15, but you can do... Uh, you know what? I'm going to get into battle. I'm going to explain it there. It's going to be easier. Other tutorial. You have this at the bottom. Yes. A, B, X, Y. This is timing-based, by the way. With this bar. I'm going to explain all that. Hold on. This is your uh, FC bar. Yeah, doesn't matter. And this tells you how many strikes you can do of each um, button with um, with the FC you have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, this is for when you get attacked. I'm gonna explain that when I get attacked. Uh, danger! Blah 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 blah. So it probably tells you you're in danger if you actually are in danger. Imagine that's what it's saying. So I can do um, these amounts of uh, strikes. B is the level 2 um, normal type, I do believe. And uh, I can do 3 of them because I have 60 and they cost 20. And uh, they do the most damage, so I'm going to be going for those. Just keep in mind you can do uh, combinations of different attacks if you feel like it. I kind of don't right now, don't see the point, so it's timing based. As far as I can tell, you want to hit the button when it's at the middle, that large part. I imagine that's where you want to, s to hit it, so I'm going to be hitting it there. Um, and then you have to keep doing that. Uh, I don't know how I did that. Don't know, okay, and you, s you can still move. If you have any more movement, you can actually keep on moving. I kind of don't. I went maximum of my movement. I'm done here. So, uh, menu, enter. Oh, I could probably do a uh, double attack on that guy to finish it off, but then I'd be using up all of Goldilocks FC, which is not cool. Because I need it for something else. And I'm going to attack him. I'm going to attack this one, and hopefully kill it, because I should be able to kill it. Goldilocks. I'm going to go for... 
Oh, I was using A and not B. I'm dumb. Well, I'm gonna go for B this time. That was kinda bad. Oh, yeah. Bam! Excellent. That thing died. Crystals everywhere. Don't mind the crystals for now. I actually still don't know what they are, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so just end the turn there, why not? And only two Antlions are going to attack the hero. Oh, wait. I should be pressing A. Yeah, that's the thing. When they're attacking, you want to be pressing A or B, depending on, on whether you want FC or HP back. I tend to go for FC because it actually does a difference, as opposed to getting one HP back. But... Um... They're doing a lot more damage than I remember them doing. But... Um... Where's the middle again? Whatever. Uh, but... Uh, I still haven't nailed the, the the timing down very well. Still, this made the difference between only one uh, attack and two with the B uh, button. Except that I'm not going to use the B button. One attack with the A button should be enough. And you know what? I'm going to get Pensei and use the uh, X. Is it? Yeah, the X button. I'm going to be all elemental on him. Because why not? I am. And I still have um, FC points for myself, and I can run away and not be attacked by the Antlions again. Goldilocks is gonna take it for me, like the good knight that he is. And that far, um, Antlion still hasn't attacked anything. Damn it! I get the first one and not the second one. I still haven't nailed the timing down that well. Alright, so I can do. Uh, you know what? Let's try a double attack of this type, I guess, with him on him. Sure, let's try that. Uh, I should be having... Um, I'm gonna go with A, see what happens. I don't know how these work. I don't know how these work at all. Oh well. Well, that happened. I'm gonna get in this guy's way, because I can. <laughs> it's probably not gonna hinder him at all, but whatever. Alright, um... I guess I could kill this guy. Sure. Yeah. Can you do it? I can do, um... B and X. That should be fine, hold on a second. I'm gonna do X and B, actually. Bam! Yeah! Kill them. I don't know what these two bars at the bottom are. Uh, you can move away. Sure. And then he's attacking the knight! Alright, I'm, I'm gonna hope I can hit all the... Damn it! I missed one. Well, he still has more FC than before, so... I guess battle. Yeah. And then use B a couple times, because I can. Oh, that was way too early. And way too late. <sighs> and nobody has FC, so we can't do a double attack, because we're, we're bad like that. And turn. What you gonna do? Bug. Um, 19 HP. I can not kill it and leave that kill to um, Goldilocks. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. So, it's like to Very good. Bam! I did a fire attack because I could. Go smileys. Yeah. And then he attacks because he can. Let's go for HP this time. Hey, I got one! One HP. Like I said, it doesn't do much of a difference. Five did a difference with the FC though. That's why I usually do five. And sure why not. How much FC do you have? I don't know. Uh B. There we go. That should be fine. 
Oh, he separated his um his lens because he could. I don't judge him. Victory! And this is how you get experience level ups and everything. Not during the battle. After the battle. Oh. I got two items. They're the same. I don't know what they are exactly. Probably those healing items we were having. This is probably my money. 630. And this is how you get experience. They get a certain amount. Plus percentages because of these bonuses I can't read. Except MVP. He was the MVP. Good for him. He leveled up. You get a lot of HP per level up. It's that kind of game. And you have to give two points somewhere. And since this is the, um, this is, as far as I can tell, the main character. And since in every other game, the main character, if he dies, you lose. Please don't die. You're gonna give him defense. I'm pretty sure you also need to give him magic resistance, because that's also important to not dying. But we'll get there one thing at a time. And you confirm with that button. He also got 80, and he didn't get MVP, obviously. He still gets a level up, I'm not sure. More HP, pretty much the same everywhere else, though. Um, his magic resistance is crap. Let's help him a little. 